Hello, well, welcome to my office. How can I help you? Um, actually, this is not my office at all. I am joking. This is my dad's man cave. Um, and my actual work from home office is upstairs and it's kind of a mess. There's like a lot of wires and notes and I didn't want to fuss with cleaning it. So I instead fussed with making this little setup. So yeah, that's what I did this morning. Um, but okay. Let's get into what I'm going to talk about today, which is um, what a day in my life looks like from working from home. So uh, today's actually Sunday. So there's the first little <laughs> second lie because um, I don't really want to have to do this during an actual work day. But I'm going to simulate what I do when I work from home, right? Because everything's a simulation according to Elon Musk. So it might as fucking well just simulate this, right? Thank you to my pillow nerds out there who got that reference. Okay, so I'm gonna show you what I do when I work from home and kind of just, and also share some tips about staying productive and also just staying sane and healthy um, and connecting with people. So that's today's video. Thank you for bearing with me through that intro and let's just get into it, okay. So my first working from home tip is to try to separate the home life and the work life, which I think may sound common sense, but let me just elaborate a little bit. So what I mean is to try to work in spaces that you don't kind of associate with being like comfortable and homey. So maybe try to work like at your, if you have like a dedicated study or kitchen space that's not really as comfortable or just more you have to kind of sit at a desk and just kind of simulate what it's like to be working. So that would be my first suggestion. And then my second suggestion about how to separate the kind of home life and the work life is to kind of dress the part a little bit. So um, I'm currently wearing what I would say is like pajama-like clothing. I mean, this was from Athleta and it was quite expensive. So I don't know, I probably could wear this to work. But the idea is like, if you want to wear pajamas, totally fine, do your thing. And I honestly have been doing that for most of uh, these past two weeks that I've been working from home. Um, I'm, I'm going to try to change that and try to wear something a little bit more put together because uh, I'm in a lot of video conference calls and I need to maybe try to look like I'm actually at work. So I'm going to try to implement and do that for myself too. I'm going to try to demonstrate that now with a cool transition. All right, so here is my work outfit. So this sweater is from Princess Polly and I've done a little bit of makeup um, to look more alive. <laughs> um, and so this is kind of how I could feel like I'm more at work when I have a more like top or sweater that I would wear to work. But the secret, the bottoms are still fully pajama bottoms and fully like pajama socks. These are Christmas socks and there's no shame to wearing Christmas socks any time of year. I think it's totally okay and should be encouraged. So um, yeah, so I think wearing a top that you feel like is more, you know, you wear to work would maybe help you know feel more confident in like those video conferences um so i'm gonna try doing this myself more too because i normally would just wear pajamas okay let's get into showing you what i do um at a day of working from home okay good morning so the first thing i do um for when i'm working at home is check my emails and check slack um i think in this clip I was actually checking my emails and checking Slack and I got some replies back that I didn't expect. So I look a little confused, but yeah. So before lunch, just check my emails, check Slack, just kind of get understanding of what's going on and kind of make sure I'm up to date with everything. So my second tip is to take a lot of breaks, either to drink water or tea or coffee, just use the bathroom, stretch, you know, get those blood flowing, the muscles loosen, just to kind of um, relax a little bit. Cause I know we're working, um, but you know, we gotta take breaks. Cause when you're working at work, you're going to lunch, you're meeting people for coffee, you're walking around the building. And when you're at home, a lot of those things go away. Cause you know, you have all, they have lunches like a foot away and you don't necessarily get coffee with people cause you're living at home. And so I do think it's totally normal <laughs> to get take it lots of breaks, you know, to just relax, check your phone, um, talk to the dog, see how his day is going, um, you know, talk to your parents or whoever you live with, your roommates, and just kind of check in with people. Um, so take lots of breaks. And also um, I recommend changing your sitting position. So if you're sitting like, you know, this all day, maybe you could like change where you're sitting just to kind of 
get up a little bit and not feel so stagnant. So I definitely recommend taking lots of breaks and being okay with it because you can't sit there forever. So I think it's easy to forget when we're sitting there for a long time um, to not take a break and that's not healthy. So take breaks. Okay, hi. So um, I didn't film me taking a break for getting food. So here is me eating some lunch. Okay. So typically after lunch i have a couple of video conference calls and so um in this clip here you just see me bringing my dog augie um into the conference call so everybody can just see his cute face and just feel a little bit better about working from home well so um in this clip i'm actually in a photo booth but i'm just you know pretending like i'm in a video conference call and i feel like most people tend to just look at themselves in these calls and that's that's okay it's normal or look at their phone so that's just me pretending to be in a call, look all serious, but we all know we're just looking at ourselves. Oh, and then this is me pretending that Augie is in the, I've, in the call. I've actually brought Augie in once because I just thought that was fun. Okay, so now on to my third tip. So my third tip or piece of advice would be to um, turn your phone on to do not disturb. And I think that will be helpful if you're one of those people like me who gets very distracted by Instagram or Snapchat or all these things. So if you do really need to have a time that you need to be super focused, I'd recommend um, turning on the do not disturb feature. Or if that's like too much, at least put your phone like in a separate place or like, you know, put it a little bit farther away from you. So it's, you need to like go get it if you need to, if you want to do something that's like ch checking TikTok you know, or Instagram. Um, but of course, if you need your phone for work, keep it by you. But if you are um, using it for more like for um, a break, I would say just try to keep a little bit further. So, you know, you have to get up a little bit and exercise slightly to check Instagram. Just, just a thought. So in the afternoon and early evening is when I get the majority of my coding work done. And I'd say that's because I've had a lot of meetings that day and I'm kind of able to know what I need to work on and implement. And so I'm hoping that my manager thinks that I code as fast or as efficiently as this like fast uh, cat meme, <laughs> but it's really more like the other meme. Okay, so now I'm gonna talk about my fourth working from home tip. So I would say that my fourth working from home tip is to stay um, active and exercise. So that could just mean exercising at home, like following a YouTube tutorial or online class, or going outside and getting some fresh air, going for a run or walking the dog or hiking, which is an essential activity in California, which is fucking amazing. Go California. Um, so I definitely recommend exercising and just going outside. And if you do go outside, maintain that six feet social distance. Okay, let's, let's, let's do this right. So in this clip, I'm walking my dog, Augie, and we're just enjoying the outdoors. He's um, getting his walk in for the day and my mom is filming this clip. Thanks, mom. And let's just admire how cute he is. Look at his little tail and feet. We're done with our exercise and now it's happy hour. And so I'm gonna drink kombucha, which is my alcohol of choice for this YouTube video. So cheers. <laughs> Ah, it's good. Okay, so my final tips advice about staying sane while working from home is definitely just to um, use this time to connect with friends. Like I definitely feel like I've connected with more friends during this time than normal because I feel like um, I'm just, you know, it kind of just makes you realize how friends are so important and that you really need to have those connections to stay sane. Um, and kind of maintain that through this time because you're not able to physically so see people so i've been really connecting people over instagram um snapchat like message um facetime i facetime people and it's so much fun just to see people and see how they're doing um so i definitely recommend just reaching out to friends maybe someone you haven't talked to in a long time and just asking how they're doing um and just checking in and then another thing i would recommend is use this time to kind of reflect upon on yourself and kind of see like what you know you want to improve on about yourself if that's you know something in school or something at work just take this time to kind of really reflect you can also use this time to do something creative like make a youtube channel inception do we see how that happened because i've always wanted to make um youtube videos and this um kind of time that i this has kind of provided us in a a weird way has it really allowed me to kind of be creative and think about content I would want to make that I would want to see and then want to make.
All right, so that is the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you learned something about how I work from home. And most importantly, just remember to stay inside, stay healthy, stay compassionate. And just remember that um, you're not alone. You can always have your friends to FaceTime. And that if you're not that productive during this time, it is okay. It is a very tough time in the world right now. And you should focus on staying sane and healthy and um work is of course important and it's a very i'm very privileged to have a job that i can work from home from so i by no means say that lightly but i'm just saying if you don't feel that productive right now it makes sense because the world is kind of changing a lot right now so just make sure to stay healthy stay inside and stay compassionate and thank you so much for watching this video i'll see you next time